Something I'd like to start doing more of is finding spots to remain stationary, quiet, listen, just observe, visually scan my surroundings. I am right next to a trail here, but at the trailhead when I arrived, there was no other cars. So I've been to this particular trail dozens of times over the last few years. Right along the Nooksack River. It does get some use. Hikers, horseback riders. However, there are quite a few days I've been here where I've been the only one here. how thick the undergrowth is and it's close proximity to Nooksack River, the salmon bearing river. I figure this would be a good location to research more intensively over the coming months and maybe a year or so. I've come off trail now, heading into the thick of it. I think I'm just gonna camp out this current spot that I'm at for about 20, 30 minutes. Remain quiet, just observe. See if there's anything around me. See what I might be able to spot, or especially what I might be able to hear. That's it for now. Now I am on the move. Just exploring off trail. Primary objective right now is to look for possible evidence. Is especially possible footprints, handprints. I can find any good spots for that. At the very least, I would like to look for some interesting impressions. I'd also like to see if I can find any interesting tree breaks, especially tree twists. But, uh, if I can find tree breaks that are like seven, eight, nine feet off the ground, broken off in such a way that indicates the presence of a very large animal creature moving through and intentionally breaking those limbs. See what kinds of potential Sasquatch sign I can find. Even if it's subtle and very and ambiguous, not clear definitive. At least that's something to go off of. To indicate the possible presence in this area. So. See if I can find anything. Alright, so. Barely five minutes or so of searching. I already found an interesting branch break sign. So. Right next to this moss-covered deadfall coming up right about here branch break right there branch break here branch break here And this one up here. So yeah, two branch breaks, about five and a half feet up, and one about six and a half feet up. So yeah, someone or something has been walking right through here. Branch break there. 
there, there, and six and a half feet up there. Keep searching around, see if I can find anything more like this. Maybe something more significant. Notice how this branch is broken upwards and bent back over top of itself. Considering the way in which the branch is broken and that it is six and a half feet above the ground, I believe it was worth documenting, even if the most likely cause was human or elk. Well, I found another good spot where I'd like to remain stationary for like 20, 30 minutes or so. Try to remain quiet, observe, visually scan my surroundings, listen closely, see if I can hear or spot anything. I'm right at the, uh, the edge of the valley floor. Right about here it starts to go upslope. And I noticed a game trail right up in the clearing there. See if anything happens, or if I make any interesting observations. Well, it's been about 25 minutes now. I haven't heard anything or spotted anything. So I'm going to resume my search for possible Sasquatch evidence. So, onwards. Back on the trail now. I'm going to go find a plant or a mushroom to photo document for identification and study. The plant species here is red huckleberry. Scientific name, Vaccinium parvifolium. My plan moving forward is to focus my research efforts in this area along the south fork of the Nooksack River for the next 9 to 12 months to cover the length of all four seasons. With the amount of wildlife here, I believe it's an area well worth a thorough long-term study. I also desire to improve the quality of my filmmaking for this channel by working on bigger video projects that feature high quality cinematography and greater depth of research. With all of it put together in a way that beautifully captures the story of my research into the Sasquatch phenomenon. Content like this will take more time to produce compared to the day trip videos I've been making up to this point, but it could be a great way for me to take a step forward in both my research and filmmaking. So bigger plans ahead as my Sasquatch quest continues.